Bucks at Lions. Another big number. That number has moved from six to seven. Look, we wanted to bet the Rams last week, and the more we broke it down foundationally, roster-wise, we truly believe this Lions team was just better all the way around. And in the end, we were proven right. It had to be a terrible sweat because the Rams realized their offensive line is so bad. Matthew yeah. Stafford basically had to look at his first read and get rid of the ball. And even doing that, Aiden Hutchinson nearly got to him about 15 times. For those of us who were on Convince Me, and if you watched Convince Me, our pregame show on Sunday mornings in the Action app and on YouTube, we hit our same game parlay for that because we had the Lions minus four and a half. We had the under and we had Aiden Hutchinson over 0.75 sacks. So we had to wait until the second or last play of the game and then an overtime dominant drive to cover both of those bets and cover the SGP. Um, but the Lions proved in the overtime why we bet on them. They they just forced their will on the Rams and ran down the field. They're just good. They're really good. I know. I'm so torn on this game because it's like... I wanted to do the lines and now it's up to seven. It's like they, they put it all the way up there just so that I'd have to question this where it's like, I did like the value on them. Um, Cause let's face it, the bucks, they might've just played the worst defense in football. The commanders, yeah. they, they might be atrocious on defense. We talked ahead into the season. They just, they kind of sold it all, got rid of everybody. Um, you expected it to be like this, but yeah, Chad, this is tough, brother. This is, this is up to seven. Now it's like, you know, Seven, seven and a half, I kind of want to be on the Bucks there. It's like, I, I just, I still see the Lions having some issues that can be taken advantage of um, by this Bucks team. And even in the playoffs last year, right? Like, if if Baker had played well, this is a totally different game, right? Like, this is, they they could have upset them. Like, they did have some, some things that were working for them. So, um, this Detroit team, like we talked about, I think they're much better than they were last year. So, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt here. And um, I, I'll take this if it gets down to six and a half again on the lines, but at seven, <laughs> I, I'd pass on that. It, yeah, I was going to say, it feels like a pass overall. Like, I don't trust the Bucs. No. Uh, I, I feel like against the Commanders, they're going to get too much credit. They're not a good team yet. And this Lions team, Dan Campbell, best coach against the spread the past five years. Jared Goff, 26 and nine indoors against the spread. The past three years, I think, like it's just, they're really, really good. Yeah. They're really good. I know. Lions average 5.3 yards per carry. <laughs> All of it, too. It's just, like we said, they can beat you in so many different ways offensively. And we just, you know, we saw what our hope was when we we're like, okay, we think this is one of the three best teams in the NFC. And I, you know, I said I might have them even ranked at number one at one point. Um, Jamison Williams, seeing him take that next step for them, that was probably the most exciting part of that game to me. It's like, okay, yeah. not only do they have maybe a shutdown corner, their number two receiver might be the guy they drafted, you know, whatever he was, a top 12, top 13 pick. It's, yeah. it, you got to be feeling pretty damn good if you're a Detroit Lions fan. Oh, yeah.